Hey there. What are some entertaining left-wing channels on YouTube? There's a handful that I know about, and I follow some of them. I, I subscribe to some of them. But oftentimes they're too long, or if they're trying to be funny, they'll, they'll make the skit take way too long to get to the point. Um, and so you're just going, okay, when, when are you going to, when are you going to finally be done with this skit? Yeah, I got this, I got the gist of the skit in about 30 seconds. You don't need to carry it out for five minutes, right? Like, okay, like ContraPoints. Okay, ContraPoints, it makes entertaining videos for the most part. She has a lot of information in her videos but it seems that the larger the budget she has to make these videos, the longer she makes her skits. And you can't fast forward through any of the skits because you'll lose important pieces of, pieces of information. So you just gotta watch the whole thing and some of her videos are pretty long, like 45 minutes and such, right? So, you know, and I just don't find her humor to be that funny. It was funny when they when the skits were short, but it's not funny when they're made longer, as far as I'm concerned. So there's people like the Amazing Atheist. I lost a lot of respect for the Amazing Atheist after he decided to block anyone on Twitter automatically with with a bot or something. Anyone who follows Cult of Dusty. Now I understand he doesn't want to be bombarded by Cult of Dusty trolls. I get it, but I still lost some respect for him for that. I mean, just following someone means, yeah, I just... And the Amazing Atheist, especially in his, in his later years, has... He'll take something that should be a five-minute video and he'll expand it to 20. And it's just like, okay, why why are you... Why are you taking so long to do this? You know? And he'll he'll do that that play this game of oh I don't know. Oh I don't know uh what they really mean and then he he'll it's it's really being very facetious. He knows exactly what it means or he knows th there'll be something that will be a stupid comment that's left on on his channel and he'll say he'll pretend for for 10 minutes, he'll pretend that uh, it was a serious comment, and uh, it's just like, oh, come on. You know, that gets old pretty quick, right? But he still, I'm, don't get me wrong, he still puts out some good content once in a while. So, there are all the channels that try to set things up like a newsroom. Um, you know, there's the Kyle Kalinske uh, uh, secular talk. There's David Pakman. You know, they're entertaining to some degree, but they're they're very newsroom-like. Oh, then, of course, there's the Young Turks, the ultimate newsroom with a huge budget, huge, huge budget. Look at their, their screens they have behind them. You know, they got a huge budget, and it's hard to know what their bias is other than, than money. Um, not a huge fan of them. There's Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore is a little less of the newsroom type of setup. It still treats, still tries to be pretty professional, but it's a little less newsroomy. And I probably out of that, out of those types of videos, I think I prefer his the most. You know, Jimmy Dore. He critiques people that deserve to be critiqued. Um. There's Vosh. Vosh can be entertaining, but his videos tend to be long, especially when he's doing debates, actual debates. Sometimes they're like two hours. He had a recent debate with Stefan Molyneux. People who agree with Vosh think that he that Vosh won the debate. People that agree with Stefan Molyneux think that Stefan Molyneux won the debate. I look at it, I, I'm... I mean, Vosh is far more to the left than I am. And so, I mean, they were talking past each other continually in that debate, but I actually feel Stefan Molyneux 
did a better job at the parts that I watched. I mean, I skipped through a lot of it because I wasn't about to watch that long of a debate, the whole thing, especially when they're talking past each other so much. But, you know, Vosh is okay. But I rarely see channels that will critique or make fun of the right in the ways that you see lots of right-wing channels critique the left. They're certainly not as brutal. Um, they're certainly not as mean. I mean, now some people that, now that this isn't a YouTuber, although their videos sometimes get uploaded to YouTube, there's Bill Maher. Bill Maher is, is really harsh and sometimes crude and sometimes mean, and uh, he does that. But that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a show with a huge budget and it's on, it's on cable TV. So, you know, but that's another thing too, you know, uh, comedians right now, comedians, right wing comedians seem to be funnier than left wing comedians. Not all the time, but It's, I mean, you look at people like Samantha B. she's not funny at all. There's Hannah Gadsby, absolutely not funny at all. But some people on the left just think they're great, and I don't really understand it. Um, I think much of it has to do with a lot of left-wing thought is mainstream now. Not far left, although... They do get in the mainstream once in a while, but anything that's rebelling against the mainstream is looked at as, well, being more of a rebel. You know, it's, it's looked at as being more the black sheep. It's looked at as, it, it ends up seeming more entertaining. And, uh, For that reason, a lot of right-wing comedians seem funnier. It just means that people on the left have to work harder to be as funny. And I don't see many of them doing that. But, uh... Yeah, as far as left-wing channels, entertaining left-wing channels, who would you recommend? You know, I... Bluntly, I've been kind of bored on YouTube. Which ends up being some of the reason why I end up watching some right-wing content, because I'm bored with the stuff that I'm seeing on the left. So what do you recommend? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.